So this final presentation is really uh, uh, another tribute like RS's presentation, a tribute to the uh, uh, lifetime work of uh, John Bedini, who over the years has shared, uh, you know, shared more than uh, most people will accomplish in a lifetime, and he's probably forgotten most, more than most of us will ever learn. The technology you're going to see is, is a really special technology that only a small number of people really kind of knew the inner workings of. Um, John kind of alluded to it. He's uh, given demos. Uh, not many people have really um, uh, had the opportunity to really understand what it is, how it works. But this is going to be your opportunity to, uh, you know, see a demo, kind of see the insights, the data, um, also the schematics. Um, the schematics are going to be on the screen. I'd encourage you to take uh, photographs of it, and we can give you uh, uh, a web link, basically an energy science forum. Um, dot com where you can uh, find the information on this and there's going to be um, some lab notes that are going to be included with um, the uh, video presentation uh, a lot of these notes uh, John has never shown to the public before and so you're definitely going to walk away with the um, information to know how to replicate uh, this device and so um, get ready for the full disclosure of the uh, zero force motor please welcome Yaro Stanchak <clears throat> because before I start going, I firstly would like to thank Rhonda Bedini for permission to use John Bedini's unpublished lab notes uh, in this presentation. Let's give you a little sense of uh, what we're going to be doing here. We already did the int introduction, and uh, I'm going to go along with that brief history of the zero vacuum engine and then further show you in more detail the zero force motor design, replication, and the build process. And after that, we're going to take kind of a baby step or maybe two steps into what I call the unknown zone. This is uh, the first unpublished note. Another slide dating back uh, 1976. So John had this in his head already, the zero force, uh, the vacuum engine, that was in his head. He was thinking about it. Instead of the rigid mount for the reed switches, I put in a cylinder. And I even went out and found my high-priced mahogany uh, hardwood pieces, and I used them to be the rails. So this can rotate, and you notice, you notice the high-tech rubber band right here. Okay, I know it's kind of loud, but here's a zero-force motor. Notice the position of the coil in here, and I'm using the bipolar switch because I need to trigger it. And I'm only running it on three poles right at the moment. There's eight magnets in this thing. And so I'm going to show you the wave up here on the scope. Tonight, I just got this finished a little while ago and I thought that I would document it right now. This is a zero force motor. This is just a plain old pushing motor or a puller. You can see the coils are in a toroidal form and the switching occurs here in the front. You can hear it. 